Hi, I'm Neharika and welcome to a new lesson. You know, this morning when I was driving to work, as always, I was stuck in a bad traffic jam. And I'm sure most of you guys, especially who live in larger cities, have to face this situation on a daily basis. And many times we do come across these conversation questions that, so how do you commute to work? Or uh, people ask you, do you hit traffic a lot? So these are the questions that we got to answer. And that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn some expression and some phrasal verbs related to traffic and commuting. So let's have a look here. The first one that we have is bumper to bumper. So what is bumper to bumper? Well, bumper to bumper traffic means a long line of vehicles which are stuck in traffic, of course, and they're literally one behind the other and they cannot move or, or they're standstill or they are moving really slow. So that's when you call that I am stuck in an awful bumper to bumper traffic. So this means the traffic is really bad. Okay, all these vehicles are jammed up and you can use this expression bumper to bumper, okay? Then we have road rage. Now what is road rage? You know, at times when people get really violent and extremely angry, uh, the people especially who are driving and they get mad at other drivers, okay? Uh, and they start, um, you know, uh, abusing or um, make these very rude gestures. So that is road rage. Most of the times we all face road rage. It's because, you know, the life is so stressful these days. And of course, the traffic jams make it worse. So that's why people do come across a lot of road rage. But please remember that road rage is extremely dangerous. Okay, just avoid this violent and aggressive behavior. We also have rush hour. Rush hour, we also call it as uh, peak hours. Now, rush hour is, uh, well, it means when um, people travel, especially in the morning hours when they are going to work or the evening hours when they are coming back home from work and uh, all these buses or the trains uh, are extremely crowded, okay? They are, uh, they are crowded and they are so full or vehicles are lined up on the road because the traffic really moves very slow so that is rush hour so usually people who of course who do not go to work every day uh, who are just traveling maybe they, they're going for shopping or they're going for a movie they kind of avoid rush hours the reason because if they go you know the period is between um it varies between eight o'clock in the morning to ten or in the evening, it's from 5 p.m. to maybe 7, 7.30. Okay, so these are the rush hours for almost all the cities. Okay, so people kind of avoid traveling during the rush hours. We also have gridlock. Gridlock is, uh, well, when, you know, when cars are completely standstill, okay, a, a very severe traffic congestion. When there's a severe traffic congestion, we call it or we use the phrase called, uh, we use the word called gridlock. You can say that, oh my God, when I was traveling this morning, it was a complete gridlock on the highway. Well, why am I using this word? The reason because the cars were completely jammed up. There were so many cars on the road that there was no space to move at all. Okay, so that is gridlock. We also have hold ups. Hold ups is a situation that causes delay. You know, possibly there's an accident on the road or uh, there is a road closure because the road is under maintenance or possibly there's a procession going on. So that all leads to a lot of traffic. So 
that's what we call that a lengthy you know maybe I was stuck in traffic because there was a lengthy hold up okay so possibly because there was an accident or there was a procession so these are all hold ups okay now next one that we have is maelstrom maelstrom is a situation that is extremely confusing or a very chaotic you know if uh, for example there's an accident on the road and uh, everything is just so confusing people kind of uh, line up to see what's happened people just leave their cars as it is and you know they want to just have a look that you know what caused the accident so it's a very chaotic situation so that's what we call that you know there was a maelstrom on the road and that's why i was stuck for hours or maybe someone uh, oh well you know at times when our uh, red lights do not work it's such a confusing and chaotic situation right all the cars just want to lead their way and you know nobody of course because there are no red lights nobody are following nobody are following rules so it's a complete chaotic situation and that's when you can use this word that is it was a complete maelstrom this morning so these are certain words and expressions that you can use to talk about traffic and now let's have a look at couple of phrasal verbs related to traffic and commuting so let's have a look at some phrasal verbs here we have run out of run out of means to get over with something And uh, when we are talking uh, in regards to traffic and commuting, well, this phrasal verb can be used uh, when you are running out of gas, when you're running out of diesel or petrol, or even time. If you are stuck in traffic, you're definitely running out of time because you're trying to get somewhere and you're stuck in this awful traffic jam and you're running out of time. And you can also use it as, oh, you know, I am running out of petrol so I need to rush to a petrol station to a fuel station okay the next one that we have is pull over pull over means to park your car or to take your car off the road okay on the side so for example a traffic cop okay he sees you speeding okay and he would ask you to pull over this means he would ask you to come off the road okay and park it at the side of the road okay so that's when you use the word the use this phrasal verb that is to pull over so uh well the traffic cop uh saw me speeding so he asked me to pull over okay the next one that we have is pull out pull out means to leave so you are you already have parked your car in your driveway and uh, maybe you just want to go uh, pick up something from the store so you can always use this phrasal verb saying that oh i'm gonna pull out uh, and grab something from the store to eat okay or uh the car pulled out in front of me and I was just about to hit the car. Okay, so maybe you missed seeing the car and that just got pulled out and you were about to hit that car. Okay, so that's how you can use this phrasal verb. And the last one that we have is run over. Run over means uh, to hit someone with your vehicle. Okay, uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, there are of course there are accidents on the roads and uh, you know you hit someone with your car or someone gets hit by the car so you always use this phrasal verb that he was run over by the truck or he was run over by that car or uh, the dog was run over by that car okay so that's when you can use this phrasal verb run over which means to hit someone by your car or by your vehicle okay so somebody gets knocked down which means that somebody is 
uh, run over by the car okay so these are the phrasal verbs that you can use so i hope these expressions and phrasal verbs help you to talk about traffic and to talk about commuting and the next time you would like to use this please use it confidently and i'm sure you will do great i will see you soon in your next lesson till then you take care